Introduction to Easter Hymns. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson. Easter Hymns compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Introduction by Rev. J. I. T. Coolidge. Among the encouraging hopes in these days of doubt and unbelief, the increasing observance of the great festivals of the church by all within the circle of her influence is certainly one of the strongest each year as the seasons come round they make a stronger appeal and meet a heartier response most especially is this true of easter that day of days its sun shines with fuller radiance each year upon the world whose night of darkness it broke on the resurrection morning the anthems which greet its rising are caught and repeated by increasing millions of grateful hearts of every tongue kindred and people until the wide earth is filled with their sounding praise how sacred a privilege to have part in this mighty and triumphant symphony how sad to be out of harmony with its sublime strains as a humble offering of grateful love to the risen lord this collection of hymns full of the spirit of the easter joy is sent forth it makes no pretension to any thoroughness of research but as one going through the field plucks here and there until a small but rich sheep fills his hand so have these hymns been gathered and bound together that the precious seed they carry may spring up and bear immortal fruit where they may chance to fall is the reward she asks by whose hand they have been collected j i t coolidge St. Mark's, Southborough, March 1876. End of the Introduction Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe most glorious lord of life that on this day didst make thy triumph over death and sin and having harrowed hell didst bring away captivity thence captive us to win this joyous day dear lord with joy begin and grant that we for whom thou didst die being with thy dear blood clean washed from sin may live for ever in felicity and that thy love we weighing worthily may likewise love thee for the same again and for thy sake that all like dear didst buy with love may one another entertain so let us love dear love like as we ought love is the lesson which the lord us taught edward spencer end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe. Death and darkness get you packing. Nothing now to man is lacking. All your triumphs now are ended, and what Adam marred is mended. Graves are beds now for the weary, death a nap to wake more merry. Youth now, full of pious duty, seeks in thee for perfect beauty. The weak and aged, tired with length of days, from thee look for new strength, and infants with thy pangs contest as pleasant as if with the breast. Then unto him who thus hath thrown even to contempt thy kingdom down, and by his blood did us advance unto his own inheritance. To him be glory, power, praise, from this unto the last of days. Henry Vaughan End of poem this recording is in the public domain.
now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. Who from the fiery furnace saved the three, suffers as a mortal, that his passion or this mortal triumphing o'er death might be vested with immortality once more. He whom our fathers still confessed, God over all forever blessed. The women with their ointment seek the tomb, and whom they mourned as dead, with many a tear, they worship now joy dawning on their gloom, as living God, as mystic Passover. Then to the Lord's disciples gave the tidings of the vanquished grave. We keep the festal of the death of death, of hell or throne, the first fruits pure and bright, of life eternal. And with joyous breath, praise him that won the victory by his might. Him whom our fathers still confessed, God over all, forever blessed. All hallowed festival in splendor born, night of salvation and of glory, night for heralding the resurrection morn. When from the tomb, the everlasting light, a glorious frame once more, his own, upon the world in splendor shone. End of poem by St. John of Damascus, translated by J.M. Neal. This recording is in the public domain. He rose again the third day from Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. Sleep, sleep, old son, thou canst not have repassed as yet the wound thou took'st on Friday last. Sleep then and rest, the world may bear thy stay. A better sun rose before thee to day, who, not content to enlighten all that dwell on the earth's face as thou, enlightened hell, and made the dark fires languish in that veil, as at thy presence here our fires grow pale, whose body, having walked on earth, and now hastening to heaven, would that he might allow himself unto all stations, and fill all, for these three days become a mineral. He was all gold when he lay down, but rose all tincture and doth not alone dispose leaden and iron wills to good, but is of power to make even sinful flesh like his. Had one of those whose credulous piety thought that a soul might discern and see, go from a body at this sepulchre been, and issuing from the sheet this body seen, he would have justly thought this body a soul, if not of any man, yet of the whole. Dr. Don End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Up and away, thy Saviour's gone before, 
why dost thou stay dull soul behold the door is open and his precept bids thee rise whose power hath vanquished all thine enemies say not i live whilst in the grave thou liest he that doth give thee life would have thee prized more highly than to keep it buried where thou canst not make the fruit of it appear is rottenness and dust so pleasant to thee that happiness and heaven cannot woo thee to shake thy shackles off and leave behind thee those fetters which to death and hell did bind thee in vain thou sayst thou'rt buried with thy saviour if thou delayst to show by thy behaviour that thou art risen with him till thou shine like him how canst thou say his light is thine early he rose and with him brought the day which all thy foes frighted out of the way and wilt thou sluggard like turn in thy bed till noon sun beams draw up thy drowsy head open thine eyes sin-sealed soul and see what cobweb ties they are that trammel thee not profits pleasures honours as thou thinkest but loss pain shame at which thou vainly winkest all that is good thy saviour dearly bought with his heart's blood and it must there be sought where he keeps residence that rose this day linger no longer then up and away christopher harvey end of poem this recording is in the public domain i am the resurrection and the life from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by eva davis the setting orb of night her level ray shed o'er the land and on the dewy sward the lengthened shadows of the triple cross were laid far stretched when in the east arose last of the stars day's harbinger no sound was heard save of the watching soldier's foot within the rock-barred sepulchre the gloom of deepest midnight brooded o'er the dead the holy one but lo a radiance faint began to dawn around his sacred brow the linen vesture seemed a snowy wreath drifted by storms into a mountain cave bright and more bright the circling halo beamed upon that face clothed in a smile benign though yet Examinate, nor long the reign of death the eyes that wept for human griefs unclose and look around with conscious joy yes with returning life the first emotion that glowed in jesus's breast of love was joy at man's redemption now complete at death disarmed the grave transformed into the couch of faith the resurrection and the life majestical he rose trembled the earth the ponderous gate of stone was rolled away the keepers fell the angel awestruck sunk into invisibility while forth the saviour of the world walked and stood before the sepulchre and viewed the clouds empurpled glorious by the rising sun James Graham. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lord is risen indeed. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Awake, thou wintry earth fling off thy sadness fair vernal flowers laugh forth your ancient gladness christ 
is risen wave woods your blossoms all grim death is dead ye weeping funeral trees lift up your head christ is risen come see the graves are green it is light let's go where our loved ones rest in hope below christ is risen all is fresh and new full of spring and light wintry heart why wear'st the hue of sleep and night christ is risen leave thy cares beneath leave thy worldly love begin the better life with god above christ is risen thomas blackburn End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe. What glorious light, how bright a sun, after so sad a night, does now begin to dawn. Blessed were those eyes that did behold this sun when he did first unfold his glorious beams and now begin to rise. It was the holy, tender sex that saw the first ray. Saint Peter and the other had the reflex, the second glimpse of the day innocence had the first and he that fled and then did penance next did see the glorious sun of righteousness in his new dress of triumph immortality and bliss o oh, dearest god preserve our souls in holy innocence or if we do amiss make us to rise again to the life of grace that we may live with thee and see thy glorious face the crown of holy penitence. Alleluia. By Jeremy Taylor. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Rise, air of fresh eternity, from thy virgin tomb. Rise, mighty man of wonders, and thy world with thee. Thy tomb, the universal East, nature's new womb thy tomb fair immortality's perfumed nest of all the glories make noon gay this is the morn this rock buds forth the fountain of the streams of day in joys white annals lives this hour when life was born no cloud scowl on his radiant lids no tempest lower life by this light's nativity all creatures have death only by this day's just doom is forced to die nor is death forced for he may lie throned in thy grave death will on that condition be content to die richard crashaw End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. From Easter Hymns Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk.
thou whose sad heart and weeping head lies low whose cloudy breast cold damps invade who never feel'st the sun nor smooths thy brow but sist oppressed in the shade awake awake and in his resurrection partake who on this day that thou mightst rise as he rose up and cancelled two debts due to thee awake awake and like the sun disperse all mists that would usurp this day where are thy palms thy branches and thy verse hosanna hark why doest thou stay arise arise and with his healing blood anoint thine eyes thy inward eyes his blood will cure thy mind whose spittle only could restore the blind henry vaughan End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sing ye to the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk at the lamb's high feast we sing praise to our victorious king who hath washed us in the tide flowing from his pierced side praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine gives his body for the feast christ the victim christ the priest where the paschal blood is poured death's dark angel sheaths his sword israel's hosts triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe praise we christ whose blood was shed paschal victim paschal bread with sincerity and love eat we manna from above mighty victim from the sky hell's fierce powers beneath thee lie thou hast conquered in the fight thou hast brought us life and light now no more can death appall now no more the grave enthrall thou hast opened paradise and in thee thy saints shall rise easter triumph easter joy sin alone can this destroy from sin's power do thou set free souls new-born o lord in thee hymns of glory and of praise risen lord to thee we raise holy father praise to thee with the spirit ever be Translated by R. Campbell. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. He is risen, he is not here. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Greeby. Jesus Christ is risen today, our triumphant holy day, who did once upon the cross suffer to redeem our loss. Hallelujah! Hymns of praise then let us sing unto Christ our heavenly King, who endured the cross and grave sinners to redeem and save. Hallelujah! But the pains which he endured, our salvation have procured. Now above the sky he's king, where the angels ever sing. Hallelujah! Old Latin Hymn End of Poem 
This recording is in the public domain. King of Kings and Lord of Lords from Easter Hymns Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe Christ the Lord is risen again. Christ hath broken every chain. Hark! Angelic voices cry, singing evermore on high. Alleluia! He who gave for us his life, who for us endured the strife, is our Paschal Lamb today. We too sing for joy and say, Alleluia! He who bore all pain and loss, comfortless upon the cross, lives in glory now on high, pleads for us, and hears our cry, Alleluia! He who slumbered in the grave is exalted now to save. Now through Christendom it rings that the Lamb is King of Kings, Alleluia! Now he bids us tell abroad how the lost may be restored, how the penitent forgiven, how we too may enter heaven. Alleluia! Thou, our Paschal Lamb indeed, Christ, thy ransomed people feed. Take our sins and guilt away, let us sing by night and day. Alleluia! Translated by C. Winkworth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. He Will Swallow Up Death in Victory From Eastern Hymns Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman Sung for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in May 2017 Alleluia, Alleluia Finished is the battle now The crown is on the victor's brow Hands with sadness, sing with gladness, Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia! After sharp death that him befell, Jesus Christ hath conquered hell. Earth is singing, heaven is ringing, Alleluia! 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 On the third morning he arose, Ride with victory o'er his foes, Sing with lauding and applauding, Alleluia, Alleluia, He hath closed hell's brazen door, And heaven is open evermore. Hands with sadness, sing with gladness, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Lord, by thy wounds we call on thee, so from ill death to set us free, that our living be thanksgiving, Alleluia. From a Latin hymn, end of poem, this recording is in the public domain. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org By heart to voice to heart. Come, ye faithful, raise the strain of triumphant gladness god hath brought his israel into joy 
from sadness. Loosed from Pharaoh's bitter yoke, Jacob's sons and daughters led them with unmoistened foot through the Red Sea waters. Tis the spring of souls today, Christ hath burst his prison, and from three days sleep and death, as a sun hath risen. All the winter of our sins, long and dark, is flying. From his light to whom we give, Lord, and praise undying. Now the queen of seasons bright, with the day of splendor, with the royal feasts of feasts, comes its joy to render, comes to glad Jerusalem, who with true affection welcomes in unwearied strains Jesus' resurrection. Neither might the gates of death, nor the tomb's dark portal, nor the watchers, nor the seal hold thee as a mortal. But today amidst the twelve thou didst stand bestowing that thy peace which evermore passeth human knowing. From Greek of St. John's of Damascus, 787, translated by J. M. Neal. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Let us keep the feast not with old leaven. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Purge we out the ancient leaven, that the feast of earth and heaven we may celebrate aright. On today our hope stands founded. Moses teacheth how unbounded is its virtue and its might. This day Egypt's treasures spoiled, and the Hebrews freed the toiled, pressed with bondage and in chains, from the mortar, brick, and stubble, heaviest toil and sorest trouble had they known in Zoan's plains. Now the voice of exultation, now the triumph of salvation, free and wide its tidings flings. This is the day the Lord hath made, the day that bids our sin and sorrow flee away, life and light and health that brings. In the law the types lay shaded, in the promised end they faded, Christ who all things consummates, Christ whose blood aside hath turned, that devouring sword which burned, waving wide at Eden's gates. Yea, that child, our mystic laughter, for whose sake the ram fell after, signifies the joy of life. Joseph from the prison goeth, Christ by resurrection showeth, he hath conquered in the strife. He, the dragon, that devouring Pharaoh's dragons, rose o'erpowering all their malice and their might. He, the serpent, set on high, that the people might not die from the fiery serpent's bite. He, the hook, that hid a while, pierced Leviathan with guile. He, the child, that laid his hand on the cockatrice's den, that the ancient lord of men might avoid the ransomed land. They who scorn the seer offended, as to Bethel he ascended, feel the bald head's wrath and flee. David, after madness feigned, scapegoat now, no more detained, ritual sparrow, 
all go free alien wedlock first despising with a jawbone samson rising thousand philistines hath slain then in gaza as he tarried forth her brazen gates he carried to the mountain from the plain sleeping first the sleep of mortals judah's lion thus the portals of the grave hath borne away while the father's voice resounded he with majesty unbounded sought our mother's courts of day jonah by the tempest followed whom the wail of old time swallowed type of our true jonah giving three days past is rendered living from that dark and narrow space now the myrrh of cyprus groweth widelier spreadeth sweetlier bloweth law its withered blossoms throweth that the church may take their place death and life have striven newly jesus christ hath risen truly and with christ ascended duly many a witness that he lives dawn of newness happy morrow wipes away our eve of sorrow since from death our life we borrow brightest joy the season gives jesu victor life and head jesu way thy people tread by thy death from death released call us to the paschal feast that with boldness we may come living water bread undying vine each branch with life supplying thou must cleanse us thou must feed us from the second death must lead us upward to our heavenly home adam of saint victor translated by j m neal end of poem this recording is in the public domain the day of jesus christ from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by michelle greeby rise heart thy lord is risen sing his praise without delays who takes thee by the hand that thou likewise with him mayst rise that as his death calcined thee to dust his life may make thee gold and much more just awake my lute and struggle for thy part with all thy art the cross taught all wood to resound his name who bore the same his stretched sinews taught all strings what key is best to celebrate this most high day consort both heart and lute and twist a song pleasant and long or since all music is but three parts vied and multiplied o oh, let thy blessed spirit bear a part and make up our defects with his sweet art i got me flowers to strew thy way i got me boughs off many a tree but thou wast up by break of day and broughtst thy sweets along with thee the sun arising in the east though he gave light and the east perfume if they should offer to contest with thy arising they presume can there be any day but this though many suns to shine endeavor we count three hundred but we miss there is but one and that one ever george herbert end of poem this recording is in the public domain in christ shall all be made alive from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman Sung for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in May 2017. Lord, who createst man in wealth and store, 
the foolishly he lost the same decaying more and more till he became most poor with thee oh let me rise as larks harmoniously and sing this day thy victories then shall the fall further the flight in me my tender age in sorrow did begin and still with sicknesses and shame thou didst so punish sin that i became most thin with thee let me combine and feel this day thy victory for if i imp my wing on thine affliction shall advance the flight in me George Herbert. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe. O sons and daughters, let us sing the king of heaven the glorious king or death to-day rose triumphing alleluia that sunday morn at break of day the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where jesus lay alleluia an angel clad in white they see who sat and spake unto the three your lord doth go to galilee alleluia that night the apostles met in fear, Amidst them came their Lord most dear, And said, My peace be on all here. Alleluia. When Didymus the tidings heard, He doubted if it were the Lord, Until he came and spake this word, Alleluia. My pierced side, O Thomas, see, My hands, my feet, I show to thee, nor faithless, but believing be. Alleluia. No longer Thomas then denied, He saw the feet, the hands, the side. Thou art my Lord and God, he cried. Alleluia. How blessed are they who have not seen, And yet whose faith has constant been, For they eternal life shall win. Alleluia. On this most holy day of days, To God your hearts and voices raise, In laud and jubilee and praise. Alleluia, Amen. Hymns Ancient and Modern End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Abide with us. Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolridge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. Light's glittering morn bedecks the sky, heaven thunders forth its victory cry. The glad earth shouts her triumph high, and groaning hell makes wild reply. While he, the king, the mighty king, despoiling death of all its sting, and trampling down the powers of night, brings forth his ransom saints to light his tomb of late the threefold guard of watch and stone and seal had barred but now in pomp and triumph high he comes from death to victory the pains of hell are loosed at last the days of mourning now are past an angel robed in light hath said the lord is risen from the dead the apostles hearts were full of pain for their dear Lord, so lately slain, by rebel servants doomed to die, a death of cruel agony. With gentle voice the angel gave, the women 
tidings at the grave. Fear not, your master shall ye see. He goes before to Galilee. Then hastening on their eager way, the joyful tidings to convey, their Lord they met, their living Lord, and falling at his feet adored. The eleven, when they hear with speed, to Galilee forthwith proceed, that there once more they may behold the Lord's dear face as he foretold. That Easter tide with joy was bright, the sun shone out with fairer light, when to their longing eyes restored the apostles saw their risen Lord. He bade them see his hands, his side, where yet the glorious wounds abide. O tokens true which made it plain, their Lord indeed was risen again. Hesu, the king of gentleness, do thou thyself our hearts possess, that we may give thee all our days the tribute of our grateful praise. O Lord of all, with us abide in this our joyful Eastertide. From every weapon death can wield, thine own redeem forever shield. All praise be thine, O risen Lord, from death to endless life restored. All praise to God the Father be, and Holy Ghost eternally. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. In the bonds of death he lay, who for our offense was slain. But the Lord is risen today, Christ hath brought us life again. Wherefore let us all rejoice, singing loud with cheerful voice. Hallelujah. Of the sons of men was none who could break the bonds of death. Sin this mischief dire had done, innocent was none on earth. Wherefore death grew strong and bold, death would all men captive hold. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, God's only Son, came at last our woe to smite. All our sins away hath done, done away death's power and right. But the form of death is left, of his sting he is bereft. Hallelujah. T'was a wondrous war, I trow, when life and death together fought. Life hath triumphed over his foe. Death is mocked and set at naught. Yea, tis as the scripture saith, Christ through death has conquered death. Hallelujah. Now our paschal lamb is he, and by him alone we live who to death upon the tree for our sakes himself did give. Faith his blood strikes on our door. Death dares never harm us more. Hallelujah. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Jesus met them, saying, All hail. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. The day of resurrection, earth, tell it out abroad. The Passover of gladness, the Passover of God. From death to life eternal, from this world to the sky, our Christ hath brought us over with hymns of victory. Our hearts be pure from evil that we may see aright the Lord in rays eternal of resurrection light, and listening to his accent may hear so calm and plain, his own all hail and hearing may raise the victor strain. Now let the heavens be joyful, let earth her song begin, let the round world keep triumph and all that is therein. Invisible and visible, their notes let all things blend. For Christ the Lord hath risen, our joy that hath no end. St. John of Damascus, translated by J. M. Neal. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
Lo, I am with thou always. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. O glorious head, thou livest now. Let thy members share thy life. Canst thou behold their need, nor bow to raise thy children from the strife? With self and sin, with death and dark distress, that they may live to thee in holiness. Earth knows thee not, but evermore thou livest in paradise, in peace. Thither my soul would also soar. Let me from the creatures cease, dead to the world, but to thy spirit known. I live to thee, O Prince of Life, alone. Break through my bonds, whate'er it cost, what is not thine within me slay. Give me the lot I covet most to rise as thou hast risen today. Not can I do a slave to death I pine. Work thou in me, O power and life divine. Work thou in me and heavenward guide my thoughts and wishes that my heart waver no more nor turn aside. But fix forever where thou art. Thou art not far from us who loves thee well while yet on earth in heaven till thee may dwell. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Him Be Glory Both Now and Forever From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org Hail, day of days, in pearls of praise, throughout all ages owned, when Christ our God hell's empire trod, and high o'er heaven was throned. His glorious morn, the world newborn in rising beauty shows, how with their lord to life restored her gifts and graces rose the spring serene in sparkling sheen the flower-clad earth arrays heaven's portal bright its radiance light in fuller flood displays the fiery sun in loftier noon or heaven's high orbit shines as o'er the tide of waters wide he rises and declines from hell's deep gloom from earth's dark tomb the lord in triumph soars the forests raise their leafy praise the flowery fields adores as star by star he mounts afar and hell imprisoned lies let stars and light and depth and height in hallelujahs rise lo he who died the crucified god over all he reigns on him we call his creatures all who heaven and earth sustains End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. He appeareth first to Mary Magdalene. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. Still my sorrow, Magdalena, wipe the teardrops from thine eyes. Not at Simon's board thou kneelest, pouring thy repentant sighs all with thy glad heart rejoices all things sing with happy voices hallelujah laugh with rapture magdalena be thy drooping forehead bright banished now is every anguish breaks anew thy morning light christ from death the world hath freed he is risen he is risen indeed hallelujah joy exult o magdalena he has burst the rocky prison, ended are the days of darkness, conqueror hath he arisen. Mourn no more the Christ departed, run to welcome him glad-hearted, hallelujah. Lift thine eyes, O Magdalena, see thy living master stands, see his face, and ever smiling, see those wounds upon his hands, on his feet, his sacred side, gems that deck the glorified, hallelujah live now live o magdalena shining is thy newborn day let thy bosom pant with pleasure death's poor terror flee away far from thee the tears of sadness welcome love and welcome gladness hallelujah end of poem this recording is in the public domain
I am he that liveth and was dead. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christians, haste your vows to pay. Offer ye your praises meet at the paschal victim's feet. For the sheep the lamb hath bled, sinless in the sinner's stead. Christ is risen, today we cry. Now he lives no more to die. Christ, the victim undefiled, man to God has reconciled, whilst in strange and awful strife met together death and life. Christians on this happy day, haste with joy your vows to pay. Christ is risen, today we cry, now he lives no more to die. Christ, who once for sinners bled, now the firstborn from the dead, throned in endless might and power, lives and reigns for evermore. Hail, eternal hope is on high. Hail, thou king of victory. Hail, thou prince of life adored. Help and save us, gracious Lord. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe. Blessed morning, whose young dawning rays beheld our rising God, that saw him triumph o'er the dust, and leave his dark abode. In the cold prison of a tomb the dead Redeemer lay, till the revolving skies had brought the third, the appointed day. Hell and the grave unite their force to hold our God in vain. The sleeping conqueror arose and burst their feeble chain. To thy great name, almighty Lord, these sacred hours we pay, and loud hosannas shall proclaim the triumph of the day. Salvation and immortal praise to our victorious King. Let heaven and earth and rocks and seas with glad hosannas ring. Watts. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Peace be unto you. From Easter Hymns. Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. O risen Lord, O conquering King, O life of all that live, Today that peace of Easter bring, Which only Thou canst give. Once death our foe had laid Thee low, now hast thou rent his bonds in twain. Now art thou risen, who once was slain. The power of thy great majesty Burst rocks and tombs away. Thy victory raises us with thee Into the glorious day. Now Satan's might and death's dark night Have lost their power this blessed morn and we to higher life are born o oh, that our hearts might inly know thy victory over death and gazing on thy conflict glow with eager dauntless faith thy quenchless light thy glorious might still comfortless and lonely leave the soul that cannot yet believe then break throughout our hard hearts thy way o jesus conquering king kindle the lamp of faith to-day teach our faint hearts to sing for joy at length that in thy strength we too may rise whom sin had slain and thine eternal rest attain and when our tears for sin o'erflow do thou in love draw near the precious gift of peace bestow 
shine on us bright and clear that so may we o christ from thee drink in the life that cannot die and keep true easter feasts on high yes let us truly know within thy rising from the dead and quit the grave of death and sin and keep that gift our head that thou didst leave for all who cleave to thee through all this earthly strife so shall we enter into life from the german of bomer translated by c winkworth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Death is Swallowed Up in Victory, from Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Michelle Grebe. Christ the Lord is risen today, sons of men and angels say, raise your joys and triumphs high, sing ye heavens and earth reply. Love's redeeming work is done, fought the fight, the battle won. Lo, our sun's eclipse is o'er, lo, he sets in blood no more. Vain the stone, the watch, the seal, Christ hath burst the gates of hell. Death in vain forbids him rise, Christ hath opened paradise. Lives again our glorious King, where, O death, is now thy sting? Once he died our souls to save, Wear thy victory, O grave. Soar we now where Christ has led, Following our exalted head. Made like him, like him we rise, Ours the cross, the grave, the skies. What though once we perished all, Partners in our parents' fall? Second life we all receive, in our heavenly Adam live. Risen with him we upward move, still we seek the things above, still pursue and kiss the sun, seated on his father's throne. Scarce on earth a thought bestow, dead to all we leave below, heaven our aim and loved abode, hid our life with Christ in God. Hid till Christ our life appear, glorious in his members here. Joined to him we then shall shine, all immortal, all divine. Hail, the Lord of earth and heaven, praise to thee by both be given. Thee we greet triumphant now, hail the resurrection thou. King of glory, soul of bliss, Everlasting life is this, thee to know, thy power to prove, thus to sing, and thus to love. Charles Wesley End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death, and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk welcome thou victor in the strife welcome from out of the cave today we triumph in thy life around thine empty grave our enemy is put to shame, his short-lived triumph o'er. Our God is with us, we exclaim, we fear our foe no more. The dwellings of the just resound with songs of victory. For in their midst, Lord, thou art found, and bringest peace with thee. O oh, share with us the spoils, we pray, thou diest to achieve we meet within thy house to-day our portion to
to receive and let thy conquering banner wave o'er hearts thou makest free and point the path that from the grave leads heavenward up to thee we bury all our sin and crime deep in our saviour's tomb and seek the treasure there that time nor change can e'er consume we die with thee o oh, let us live henceforth to thee aright the blessings thou hast died to give be daily in our sight fearless we lay us in the tomb and sleep the night away if thou art there to break the gloom and call us back to-day death hurts us not his power is gone and pointless all his darts now hath god's favour on us shone and joy fills all our hearts Schmolka, translated by c winkworth end of poem this recording is in the public domain if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk sun shine forth in all thy splendor joyfully pursue thy way for the lord and my defender rose triumphant on this day when he bowed his head sore troubled thou didst hide thyself in night shine forth now with rays redoubled he is risen who is thy light earth be joyous and glad-hearted spread out all thy vernal bloom for thy lord is not departed he has broken through the tomb when the lord expired wide yawning thy strong rocks were rent with fright greet thy risen lord this morning bathed in floods of rosy light say my soul what preparation makest thou for this high day when the god of thy salvation opened through the tomb away dwellest thou with pure affection on this proof of power and love doth thy saviour's resurrection raise thy thoughts to things above hast thou borne on faith's strong pinion risen with the risen lord and released from sin's dominion into purer regions soared or art thou in spite of warning dead in trespasses and sin hath to thee the purple morning no true easter ushered in o oh, then let not death o'ertake thee by the shades of night or spread see thy lord has come to wake thee he is risen from the dead while the time as yet allows thee hear the gracious saviour cries sleeper from thy sloth arouse thee to new life at once arise see with looks of tender pity he extends his wounded hands bidding thee with fond entreaty shake off sin's enthralling bands wait not for some future meetness dread no punishment from me rouse thyself and taste the sweetness of the new life offered thee let no precious time be wasted to new life arise at length he who death for thee hath tasted for new life will give new strength try to rise at once bestir thee still press on and persevere let no weariness deter thee he who woke thee still is near waste not so much time in weighing 
when and where thou shalt begin too much thinking is delaying rivets but the chains of sin he will help thee and provide thee with a courage not thine own bear thee in his arms and guide thee till thou learn'st to walk alone see thy lord himself is risen that thou mightest also rise and emerge from sin's dark prison to new life and open skies come to him who can unbind thee and reverse thy awful doom come to him and leave behind thee thy old life an empty tomb lyra domestica end of poem this recording is in the public domain he has risen from the dead from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for librivox dot org by larry wilson the lord is risen indeed then hell has lost his prey with him is risen the ransomed seed to reign in endless day the lord is risen indeed he lives to die no more he lives the sinner's cause to plead whose curse and shame he bore the lord is risen indeed attending angels here up to the courts of heaven with speed the joyful tidings bear then take your golden lyres and strike each cheerful chord join all the bright celestial choirs to sing our risen lord kelly end of poem this recording is in the public domain i know that my redeemer liveth from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for librivox dot org by larry wilson jesus lives no longer now can thy terrors death appall us jesus lives by this we know thou o grave canst not enthrall us alleluia jesus lives henceforth is death but the gate of life immortal this shall calm our trembling breath when we pass its gloomy portal alleluia jesus lives for us he died then alone to jesus living pure in heart may we abide glory to our saviour giving alleluia jesus lives our hearts know well not from us his love shall sever life nor death nor powers of hell tear us from his keeping ever alleluia jesus lives to him the throne over all the world is given may we go where he is gone rest and reign with him in heaven alleluia c f gellert end of poem this recording is in the public domain christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk yes the redeemer rose the saviour left the dead and o'er our hellish foes high raised his conquering head in wild dismay the guards around fell to the ground and sunk away lo the angelic bands in full assembly meet to wait his high commands and worship at his feet joyful they come and wing their way from realms of day to such a tomb then back to heaven they fly and the glad tidings bear hark as they soar on high what music fills the air their anthems say jesus who bled hath left the dead he rose to-day ye mortals catch the sound redeemed by him from hell and send the echo round the globe on which you dwell transported cry 
jesus who bled hath left the dead no more to die all hail triumphant lord who savest us with thy blood wide be thy name adored thou rising reigning god with thee we rise with thee we reign and empires gain beyond the skies doddridge end of poem this recording is in the public domain why weepest thou whom seekest thou from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. a pathway opens from the tomb the grave's a grave no more stoop down look into that sweet room pass through the unsealed door linger a moment by the bed where lay but yesterday the church's head what is there there to make thee fear a folded chamber vest akin to that which thou shalt wear when for thy slumber dressed two gentle angels sitting by how sweet a room methinks wherein to lie no gloomy vault no charnel cell no emblems of decay no solemn sound of passing bell to say he's gone away but angel whispers soft and clear and he the risen jesus standing near why weepest thou whom seekest thou tis not the gardener's voice but his to whom all knees shall bow in whom all hearts rejoice the voice of him who yesterday within that rock was death's resistless prey why weepest thou whom seekest thou the living with the dead take young spring flowers and deck thy brow for life with joy is wed the grave is now the grave no more why fear to pass that bridal chamber door take flowers and strew them all around the room where jesus lay but softly tread tis hallowed ground and this is easter day the lord is risen as he said and thou shalt rise with him thy risen head lyra anglicana end of poem this recording is in the public domain i will see you again and your heart shall rejoice and your joy no man taketh from you from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. as spring's sweet breath after long wintry snow as land to voyager or pathless sea as daybreak after weary night of woe is easter joy to me all lenten shadows over and the light around us and within so sweet and strong teach us o risen master how a right to sing our easter song we stand to-day beside thy open tomb we gaze on linen clothes with reverent heed and hear the angels whispering through the gloom not here but risen indeed and all the story of thy love divine throbs through our hearts longing o christ for thee the bitter chalice with the deadly wine was drained to set us free the grave is dark no more a stream of light he rising left behind for all his own 
death's chain is broken by his arm of might and rolled away the stone now easter light flushes the morning sky thy form we see all changed and yet the same master we kneel before thee hear our cry and call us each by name when evening shadows lengthen all around and we to emmaus take our weary way with us o risen saviour still be found and turn our night to day and from thy radiant throne of light above o oh, send us till our desert wanderings cease thine own best legacy of tender love thy sweetest gift of peace then at the last when all shall wake who sleep made like to thee in raiment white and fair o oh, bid us welcome to thy home to keep our endless Easter there. R. H. Baines. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. From Easter Hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk again the lord of life and light awakes the kindling ray unseals the eyelids of the morn and pours increasing day oh what a night was that which wrapped the heathen world in gloom Oh, what a sun which broke this day, triumphant from the tomb. This day be grateful homage paid, and loud hosannas sung. Let gladness dwell in every heart, and praise on every tongue. Ten thousand differing lips shall join to hail this welcome morn which scatters blessings from its wings to nations yet unborn mrs barbold end of poem this recording is in the public domain thou art worthy o lord to receive glory and honor and power from easter hymns Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Come, ye saints, look here and wonder. See the place where Jesus lay. He has burst his bands asunder. He has borne our sins away. Joyful tidings. Yes, the Lord has risen today jesus triumphs sing ye praises by his death he overcame thus the lord his glory raises thus he fills his foes with shame sing ye praises praises to the victor's name jesus triumphs countless legions come from heaven to meet their king soon in yonder blessed regions they shall join his praise to sing songs eternal shall through heaven's high arches ring t kelly end of poem this recording is in the public domain in my father's house are many mansions from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk do saints keep holy day in heavenly places 
does the old joy shine new in angel faces are hymns still sung the night when christ was born and anthems on the resurrection morn because our little year of earth is run do they make record there beyond the sun and in their homes of light so far away mark with us the sweet coming of this day what is their easter for they have no graves no shadow there the holy sunrise craves deep in the heart of noontide marvellous whose breaking glory reaches down to us how did the lord keep easter with his own back to meet mary where she grieved alone with face and mien all tenderly the same unto the very sepulchre he came ah the dear message that he gave her then said for the sake of all bruised hearts of men go tell those friends who have believed on me i go before them into galilee into the life so poor and hard and plain that for a while they must take up again my presence passes where their feet toil slow mine shining swift with love still foremost go say mary i will meet them by the way to walk a little with them where they stay to bring my peace watch for ye do not know the day the hour when i may find you so and i do think as he came back to her the many mansions may be all astir with tender steps that hasten in the way seeking their own upon this easter day parting the veil that hideth them about i think they do come softly wistful out from homes of heaven that only seem so far and walk in gardens where the new tombs are a d t whitney end of poem this recording is in the public domain they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk morning breaks upon the tomb jesus dissipates its gloom day of triumph through the skies see the glorious saviour rise christians dry your flowing tears chase those unbelieving fears look on his deserted grave doubt no more his power to save ye who are of death afraid triumph in the scattered shade drive your anxious fears away see the place where jesus lay so the rising sun appears shedding radiance o'er the spheres so returning beams of light chase the terrors of the night collier and a poem this recording is in the public domain lo every one that thirsteth come ye to the waters from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk i say to all men far and near that he is risen again that he is with us 
now and here and ever shall remain and what i say let each this morn go tell it to his friend that soon in every place shall dawn his kingdom without end now first to souls who thus awake seems earth a fatherland a new and endless life they take with rapture from his hand the fears of death and of the grave are whelmed beneath the sea and every heart now light and brave may face the things to be the way of darkness that he trod to heaven at last shall come and he who hearkens to his word shall reach his father's home now let the mourner grieve no more though his beloved sleep a happier meeting shall restore their light to eyes that weep now every heart each noble deed with new resolve may dare a glorious harvest shall the seed in happier regions bear he lives his presence hath not ceased though foes and fears be rife and thus we hail in easter's feast a world renewed to life from the german end of poem this recording is in the public domain weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson mary to her saviour's tomb hasted at the early dawn spice she brought and sweet perfume but the lord she loved was gone for a while she weeping stood struck with horror and surprise shedding tears a plenteous flood from her heart supplied her eyes grief and sighing quickly fled when she heard his welcome voice just before she thought him dead now he bids her heart rejoice what a change his word can make turning darkness into day you who weep for jesus sake he will wipe your tears away he who came to comfort her when she thought her all was lost will for your relief appear though you now are tempest tossed on his word your burden cast on his love your thoughts employ weeping for a while may last but the morning brings the joy john newton end of poem this recording is in the public domain he is not here but is risen from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk o day of days shall hearts set free no minstrel rapture find for thee thou art the sun of other days they shine by giving back thy rays enthroned in thy sovereign sphere thou shedst thy light on all the year sundays by thee more glorious break an easter day in every week and weekdays following in their train the fullness of thy blessing gain till all both resting and employ be one lord's day of holy joy then wake my soul to high desires and earlier light thine altar fires the world some hours is on her way nor thinks on thee thou blessed day or if she think it is in scorn the vernal light of easter morn to her dark gaze no brighter seems than reasons or the law's pale beams where is your lord she scornful asks where is his hire 
we know his tasks sons of a king ye boast to be let us your crowns and treasures see we in the words of truth reply an angel brought them from the sky our crown our treasure is not here tis stored above the highest sphere methinks your wisdom guides amiss to seek on earth a christian's bliss we watch not now the lifeless stone our only lord is risen and gone yet even the lifeless stone is dear for thoughts of him who late lay here and the base world now christ hath died ennobled is and glorified no more a charnel house to fence the relics of lost innocence a vault of ruin and decay the imprisoning stone is rolled away tis now a cell where angels use to come and go with heavenly news and in the ears of mourners say come see the place where jesus lay tis now a fane where love can find christ everywhere embalmed and shrined ay gathering up memorials sweet where'er she sets her duteous feet o oh, joy to mary first aloud when roused from weeping o'er his shroud by his own calm soul-soothing tone breathing her name as still his own joy to the faithful three renewed as their glad errand they pursued happy who so christ's word convey that he may meet them on their way so is it still to holy tears in lonely hours christ risen appears in social hours who christ would see must turn all tasks to charity j keeble end of poem this recording is in the public domain O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Angel, roll the stone away. Death, give up the mighty prey. See, he rises from the tomb, glowing in immortal bloom. Shout, ye saints, in rapturous song, let the notes be sweet and strong. Hail the Son of God this morn, from his sepulchre newborn. Christians, dry your flowing tears, calm those unbelieving fears doubt no more his power to save see his own deserted grave powers of heaven celestial choirs sing and sweep your sounding lyres sons of men in joyful strain hail your mighty saviour's reign every note with rapture swell and the saviour's triumph tell where o oh death is now thy sting where thy terrors vanquished king j scott end of poem this recording is in the public domain o oh, clap your hands all ye people shout unto god with the voice of triumph from Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman, read for LibriVox.org by Cindy Tully, Tulsa, Oklahoma. O oh, clap your hands, all ye people, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. 
Lift your glad voices in triumph on high, for Jesus hath risen, and man cannot die. Vain were the terrors that gathered around him, and short the dominion of death and the grave. He burst from the fetters of darkness that bound him, resplendent in glory to live and to save. Loud was the chorus of angels on high, the Savior hath risen, and man shall not die. Glory to God in full anthems of joy. The being he gave us death cannot destroy. Sad were the life we must part with tomorrow, if tears were our birthright and death were our end. But Jesus hath cheered the dark valley of sorrow and bade us immortal to heaven ascend. Lift then your glad voices in triumph on high, for Jesus hath risen and man shall not die. Henry Ware End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The First Begotten of the Dead From Easter Hymns Compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk come see the place where jesus lay and hear angelic watchers say he lives who once was slain why seek the living midst the dead remember how the saviour said that he would rise again o joyful sound o glorious hour when by his own almighty power he rose and left the grave now let our songs his triumph tell who burst the bands of death and hell and ever lives to save the first begotten of the dead for us he rose our glorious head immortal life to bring what though the saints like him shall die they share their leader's victory and triumph with their king no more they tremble at the grave for jesus will their spirits save and raise their slumbering dust o risen lord in thee we live to thee our ransomed souls we give to thee our bodies trust t s kelly End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. He is risen. He is risen, tell it with a joyful voice. He has burst his three days' prison, let the whole wide earth rejoice. Death is vanquished, man is free, Christ has won the victory. Tell it to the sinners, weeping over deeds in darkness done, weary fast and vigil keeping brightly breaks their easter sun christ has borne our sins away christ has conquered hell today he is risen he is risen he has oped the eternal gate we are loosed from sin's dark prison risen to a holier state where a brightening easter beam on our longing eyes shall stream c f alexander end of poem this recording is in the public domain jesus christ the lord of glory from easter hymns compiled by jane eliza coolidge chapman sung for librivox dot org by iswa in belgium in may two thousand and seventeen 
the strife is o'er the battle done the victory of life is won the song of triumph has begun Alleluia. the powers of death have done their worst but christ their legions hath dispersed let shout of holy joy outburst Alleluia. the three sad days are quickly sped he rises glorious from the dead all glory to our risen head Alleluia. he closed the yawning gates of hell the bars from heaven's high portals fell let hymns of praise his triumph tell Alleluia. lord by the stripes which wounded thee from death's dread sting thy servants free that we may live and sing to thee Alleluia. f pot end of poem this recording is in the public domain The fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. How shall we keep this holy day of gladness, this queen of days, that bitter, hopeless sadness forever drives away? The night is past, its sleep and its forgetting. Our risen sun, no more forever setting, pours everlasting day. Let us not bring upon this joyful morning dead myrrh and spices for our Lord's adorning, nor any lifeless thing. Our gift shall be the fragrance and the splendor of living flowers in breathing beauty tender the glory of our spring and with the myrrh o oh, put away the leaven of malice hatred injuries unforgiven and cold and lifeless form still with the lilies deeds of mercy bringing and fervent prayers and praises upward springing and hopes pure bright and warm so shall this Easter shed a fragrant beauty O'er many a day of dull and cheerless duty, And light thy wintry way, Till rest is won, and patience, smiling faintly, Upon thy breast shall lay her lilies saintly, To hail heaven's Easter day. E. S. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To the only wise God, our Saviour, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk our lord is risen today how glad the angelic lay resoundeth hallelujah men too with feebler song that heavenly strain prolong repeating hallelujah through darkest realms of woe sweet notes of mercy go re-echoing hallelujah let every living thing therefore break forth and sing exultant hallelujah death quenched not light of light he clad in matchless might to deepest hell descended he preached to spirits there and at his word despair and death and pain are ended out through the gates of brass 
the newborn armies pass while saints in raptured chorus behold that host draw nigh and loud hosanna cry all hail thou king victorious before the dawning's birth up to the waiting earth our jesus swift returneth through that same stone he rose fast sealed by his foes their malice thus he scorneth earth quaked with fear and dread and roman soldiers fled when clad in radiance splendid one heavenly hand alone rolled back the mighty stone and death's short victory ended now shining angels tell how bands of earth and hell by him were burst in sunder with spices in their hand lo holy women stand and list in thrilling wonder then trembling with the joy unto the eleven they fly that men also may greet him the lord is risen they say the lord is risen to-day oh go ye forth to meet him ascend thy conquering car thou mighty man of war with all thy saints surrounded shine forth in perfect day and let thy loving sway spread far o'er realms unbounded till to the lower world thy deadly foes are hurled cast down to rise up never and thou emmanuel o'er heaven and earth and hell triumphant reign forever to god the father son and spirit three in one eternal praise be given by all of mortal birth within the church on earth and countless hosts of heaven as was on that bright morn when heaven and earth were born and songs of praise ascended is now and shall be so still swelling as they go when time itself is ended j h hopkins jr end of poem this recording is in the public domain Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Angels. Christ hath arisen, joy to our buried head, whom the unmerited, trailing, inherited woes did imprison. Women costly devices we had prepared shrouds and sweet spices linen and nard woe the disaster whom we here laid gone is the master empty his bed angels christ hath arisen loving and glorious out of laborious conflict victorious christ hath arisen disciples hath the inhumated upward aspiring hath he consummated all his desiring is he in being's bliss near to creative joy wearily we in this earthly house sigh empty and hollow us left he unblessed master thy followers envy thy rest angels christ hath arisen out of corruption's womb burst every prison vanish death's gloom active in charity praise him in verity his feast prepare it ye his message bear it ye his joy declare it ye then is the master near then 
is he here? Goethe, translated by F. H. Hedge. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Why seek ye the living among the dead? From Easter Hymns, compiled by Jane Eliza Coolidge Chapman. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Unchanged through all the changing years, the widowed church at dawning gray goes forth to kneel beside the tomb where once our lord and saviour lay and carries with her spice and balm that through the air their fragrance shed o oh, hush nor ask of her in scorn why seek the living mid the dead draw near and see her precious store until she all her gifts display which all the year she garners up and pours them forth on easter day and first she brings her children's prayers which she has taught them day by day through life and death to offer still at home at sea or far away and next she gives each loving word and every holy fruitful thought each effort for the souls of men each work in love and mercy wrought and then her last and choicest gift wherewith she crowneth all the rest the memory of her holy dead who sleep of perfect peace possessed still bears she forth her precious hoard and hope grows strong with every year that many easters shall not pass before her bridegroom shall appear then shall her days of fasting end and she her weeds aside will lay for death and sin shall be no more when dawns that endless easter day e s end of poem this recording is in the public domain